This is Deborah, and you're listening to Outside Interference. I'm here at WrestleCon with Deborah McMichael. What brings you to WrestleCon? Actually, I'm here to see all the wonderful fans here in Orlando. It's been a great crowd. I mean, did you show all the, I mean, it's just tons of people here. Now, you've been part of some memorable moments in WCW, WWE. Uh, what would you say you want fans to remember you for most? You know what? I just want them to remember me. Well, as Queen Deborah, and then as Deborah. But most of all, you know, I love my fans. I still love them. They paid my salary for all these years, and I'm so, so thankful for their support, even to this day. Now, what uh, was the deciding factor? What led you to decide to go back to school? Well, um, after wrestling, you know, I just decided I like to, you know, push the envelope, reinvent myself, and actually be a role model to other people that you can reinvent yourself and go into a whole different field from one career to another career, and I just will always keep reinventing myself. I mean, it's just, and you know, going back to college and, and being older, and it's been just very inspirational, and I plan to help a lot of people with this degree. Now, you just referenced reinventing yourself. Somebody who did that and mentioned it in his Hall of Fame speech was Kurt Angle. Uh, can you talk about you know, just working with him and your thoughts on him finally going into the Hall of Fame? No, he deserves it. And I still remember his very first day at WWF, or, you know, back then it was WWF and WWE, but I remember his first day. And like I said, Kurt has a really good attitude, and he totally has reinvented himself from winning the gold to being a top star in wrestling. And it's just, I mean, he is so well-deserved to be in the Hall of Fame.